Who wins in the rap battle, J. Cole or Drake? The only nigga who's willing to battle. I'm not mad at that response. Let's just say in an in an alternative world, <laughs> the only one who's willing yeah, to battle. Because at this point, like, what, what, what would a battle. Drake, what would a Drake and J Cole battle even look like after what happened? Like, I feel it. I don't even know. What would that let's be? Just, like, J say, Cole didn't even believe his only diss track he ever made. He didn't believe it so much I feel that J. he Cole. recanted it and then took it down. But no, like, I'll be like, I'm sorry. But that's my thing, though. <laughs> he didn't believe it. But was Cole more afraid of Kendrick or Drake? Kendrick. Because I think he walked Drake on first-person shooter, right? Friendly. I competitive. In the spirit of the sport, yeah. yes. Yeah, they weren't going my, against each other. It's different when it's time to shoot. And when it was time to shoot... I know. He 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 brought a fucking water gun. I feel it. And then he didn't even shoot the fucking water gun. If I'm cold, I know what my pen looked like. Even if I walked away from the... No, because you're right. Everything you're saying, Savon, is super valid. You walked away. I look at you different. Drake actually stepped mm -hmm. up to the plate. We got to give salute to Drake on that. He every was, time. Every time. Salute to Drake on that. Again, though, if I'm cold, in that particular situation, the boogeyman was Kendrick. So, again, I'm going to ask you if it was just lyricism, if it's just bars, and let's say J. Cole really wants to spar. Who do you think could, who do you think would outrap who in a rap battle? That would be so... Oh, sorry, sorry. I talked over when you said Drake. No, I'm just going to say Drake is my answer. Like, that would be so interesting if we entertain the idea. Like, because I believe J. Cole's pen is genuinely way more advanced than Drake, but... After the bat me. after the battle, if it's a battle, J. Cole's the one that doesn't like battling. So how are they gonna battle? Like that would be a very interesting dynamic. And also the public opinion, Drake lost, but J. Cole walked away. So there's so much that goes into it, you know? In this I arena, I'm I'm taking Drake. And it has nothing to do with knocking J. Cole's pain. We all know. We just heard. I just told you he's not Tyler Quali. Like, I never <laughs> changed my mind so fast. So fast. <laughs> like, I ain't never recanted some dumb I'm shit that came Tyler out of my mind. Salute like, to Tyler Dope. Nah, for sure. Yeah, salute girl. to him. But there's levels. And I know what J. Cole is. And I respect J. Cole for who he is. But in that arena, if it comes to, let's well, say they do have a little sparring match, mm -hmm. I'm taking Drake over J. Cole. J. Cole is unanimously three. Okay, but I want you to just, just take away all that transpired. I'm just talking if it had to come down to lyricism and balls. Because let's not forget... The fall off is coming. You know why it's hard and, for me to do that, Alex? Because yeah. we've seen, like, a year ago, yeah. I think this would have been an amazing question, and the dialogue and the debate would have been a lot stronger because we didn't know. It was all hypothetical. Mm -hmm. The hypothetical happened to where we've seen how all three parties respond mm -hmm. to beef or to friction within each other. But now, beef. we haven't seen those two go at it. We haven't. But based on what we do know, mm -hmm. one is ready to go. Now, no matter how you feel about Drake winning or not, he was ready to go. But that's why I want us to be worried about it. Though Drake was ready and I gave him his flowers for it, he didn't win. Which is okay. Yeah. He's still Drake. He's still... So, yeah, I, I'm sure Drake would be able to step up to the plate. But, but if there was a moment where Cole actually wanted to step up to the plate and they just had to... We just had to judge bars and lyricism... I think I think Cole edges him out a little bit. I I, I get what Savon is saying because yeah. it's like okay, let's not imagine this beef happened. Right. If it was Drake versus J Cole, who would win? But Savon is saying like in a beef, J Cole doesn't even like rapping in like a dissy I get it. a dissy way. I get it. But Alex is saying like no, he was scared of Kendrick, not Drake. So I get what you guys are saying. I have no idea how it would play out. I, like and, and let me let me let me say this as well, right? If salute to Drake, let me be very clear. I don't ever want to hear people say they don't like Drake. It's a lie. <laughs> There's people out there was at least one Drake song someone could say that they like. Even if it's just a hook or a few words, right? He's a great rapper. My whole thing is though, if it wasn't for this rap battle, all right, let me say, let me just say it clear. I was shocked at Drake's performance during this rap battle. Real talk, coming off of all of the battles he came off of and how victorious he was, or shit, how he came at common. How he dealt with the Pusha T shit, even though he lost in the Pusha T thing, but just how he showed up, man, I'm going to keep saying it. Push-ups did not do it for me. And I don't think if J. Cole was to go in a, into a rap battle with Drake that we would hear a, a track like Push-ups where the, the craziest shot is about a nigga shoe size. Yes, Family Matters was a very good song, right? He, he definitely bounced back with that. But at that point, he was already down in the battle. 
I, I, I don't know. The battle against Kendrick. And the battle against Kendrick. And Kendrick right. is different. I completely agree. Kendrick is a completely different I completely agree. animal, alien, specimen, I agree. mammal, amphibian. <laughs> I, 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 He's completely <laughs> different on You're how dead. he fucking prepares, <laughs> yeah. executes. Like, no. So I don't know if there's anybody in the history of rap who is as calculated as Kendrick Lamar. And that's including the Jay-Zs, the Nas's. In the history of rap, I don't know if there's anybody yeah. as calculated as strategic, as precise, and petty as Kendrick Lamar. I agree with so that. So mm. that's a tall, tough task for anybody, including Drake. Um, but just to kind of move off of that, Reggie, I know you did have something for us. Leave your comments, though. I want to know what you guys feel. If, I really enjoyed that. Like, yeah. I didn't know we would get into that Same. part of it because I didn't know you were going to bring up that he kind of was dissing Drake. I didn't know people thought that. I thought people were I coming at fans. I thought people were like, guys, why do you think he dissed Drake? But honestly, you made a compelling case. I appreciate and it. And if he was dissing Drake, what was the point of that? Like, was it in a just reference way or in a slight way? I love that conversation. I, I think he's going to try and prove a lot on his next album, The Fall Off. 